Hey tankers, Bonsai Duck here. Today we are in my T50, Skoda T50. And we are on Abbey in a standard battle in what looks to be a 357 tier 10, tier 9, tier 8 game. Spawned over here in the south side of Abbey and um, decided, you know, looking at the, the lineup of the tanks that I would be facing, it might be better off coming over here to the east side and maybe working the river road and, and seeing uh, you know, if I can slow a push up, a slow a push coming at us from that side and maybe even work my way down that way as opposed to going into the abbey or up into the uh, the heavy area, the heavy brawling area. So um, that's, yeah, that's the choice I made. So uh, here we go. I'll come over here with the Oods and the uh, T92 and uh, Here's an EBR and an AMX 13105. I'm figuring, okay, we're just going to let them come around the corner. And, uh... Sure enough, the one that it looks like the... I think that's a... Oods takes a shot at the EBR. I get a shot at the EBR. T92's on the running, is running back, and he's obviously been spotted because he just got, you know, evaporated pretty much in two shots. Dumped the rest of my shells down there because I saw the Oods fire in there, so I'm assuming that there's something I can't see. And it looks like it might have been that Scorpion G down there. Meanwhile, the Abbey's pretty much theirs. They have control of it. We seem to have control over on the one line. The Oods is charging in. I don't know why. So I said, okay, I'll, I'll, I thought, okay, I'll follow him in. Let's see if he doesn't light anything up. And all of a sudden he finds a 13105 and now he's gone. And I was saying, okay, this is not a smart place for me to be. I want to get out of here. So I start peeling out. <laughs> Reverse! <laughs> Retreat! Anyway, there's the Jag Tiger, and he's uh, lined up there. And I come back around, I thought, okay, I'm at least back here where I can be in a defensible position. And here comes a Scorpion G. Take a shot from him, but I managed to shoot and track him. And then he's down. So at that point, the Yag Tiger says, okay, we're good to go. We're heading into a 13105 and possible E50. And I'm not liking the odds too much, but... Kind of follow him in. And I see a 13105 and an E50. They all chase after the T54. I'm like, okay, maybe we can get something done here. So. Scorpion G is uh, directing from the uh, sidelines. Is he's dead now. Once you're dead, you should just leave the rest of the team alone. Obviously, it didn't work for you. <laughs> and I see the E50. Alright. Uh, he's heading back to base. Maybe I can get a shot on him. Look over here for the Suma. He's not. He's busy. He can't. Uh, he's behind a wall. I can't hit him. Get spotted. Put a shot into Scorpion G and the E50 pops me. He still hits me. Nothing. Keep falling back, keep falling back. He dodges a shot. I'm trying to find a spot where I'm low enough that he can't hit me, but <laughs> this is a pretty tall tank, and that's not going to happen because he sees me there. Alright, there's a shot. There's another shot. 
And he's down. Okay, because I wouldn't have been able to take another shot from him. I guess I could have pulled up. I guess I could have pulled up behind in that building. That might have been a smarter move as opposed to backing down here. Hmm. Okay. So anyway, I'm a one-shot for everything. And honestly, I, I'm surprised that the wind didn't knock me over and kill me. I'm going to reload here. There's the reload, and then I just can't get an aim on him. <laughs> Come down that hill pretty fast for, you know, only 11 hit points, but um, somehow survive it. I am being very cautious now. So 13105, here comes the Suma SM. Where are you going? Where are you at, buddy? Come on. Auto aim, and I... I, don't, I, hit, I hit the dirt? I, I'm not sure. Anyway, 13105 is all that's left. And now he's down. And that would be a victory. Alright, so, you know, Master Third Class, um, I can't remember what that one is. Tank Sniper, I think? I'm not sure. Anyway, um, 38,619 in credits, 2,364 in, in experience. Uh, Damage-wise, you know, not too bad. 2,302, I got one kill, 788 in base experience. 12 shots, 9 hits, 8 penetrations. I did 1,530 from 300 meters out. And then I, you know, assisted with 459. Detail-wise, this is usually a very expensive tank. I don't, I don't know why Wargaming does that. They make, they make a, you know, a line, and then somewhere in that line, all of a sudden, you have a very expensive tank to run. Uh, and I mean, I'm not shooting gold. I'm, I'm just shooting the AP, the APCR. Um, and it's just, you know, you either have to do a ton of damage, which means you go through a ton of shells, or, um, you know, it's just, it just seems very expensive to run. And uh, that's why I don't, I don't play the tank very often. And, and the grind's been very slow because of the, just, and the standard shell just seems expensive to run, right? So, but anyway, made some credits, made some experience, wasn't running any personal reserves. So, all in all, it was a... A mediocre game. Could I have played more aggressive? Yes. Uh, could I have played smarter? Yes, definitely. I mean, uh, I can always play smarter. Um, but in this tank, for me, not having a lot of experience in it, um, you know, it was, a, it was a pretty good game, and uh, you know, I actually survived. It's the the Skoda T50 and the and the Tier 10 Skoda. Um, are not frontline brawlers. They can they move fairly well. They have decent mobility. Uh, their their armor is so so against other mediums and lights, uh, but they can put a lot of damage down range very quickly with those guns, and that's what makes them such a threat. And they're great. You know, they're really good snipers because they can just dump out the shells and put the damage on you before you really know what happened. So. Um, anyway, that's my Skoda T50 on Abby in a standard battle. If you like the battle, hit the like button and uh, keep up the support. We greatly appreciate it. Keep those videos coming. This is Bonsai Duck out.